<laughs> uh, a few, maybe as a year ago or so, we talked about KICAD. KICAD is a program that lets you lay out printed circuit boards. It's open source, it's free, you can change the, uh, uh, you can draw footprints, whatever, it's schematic capture, netlist, and lay out the boards. And then I sent these Gerber files off to a company called ITED. They're in China. It was 25 bucks to have 10 of these boards made. And that's what you get. You get a package like that. Then, uh, plus, you can spend $5 to get them shipped back to you, and they may get there sometime. Or you can spend $26 with DHL, and they'll get there within a couple of days. Uh, so I sent these out on a Thursday, and I had them back the following Thursday. And from my point of view, that makes a whole lot more sense than dead bug construction or trying to solder pieces together, whatever. Just make a board. And if it ain't right, you can probably fix it enough to get it right. And if you want to refine it, you can. So that's it for me and show and tell. Frank, if you wouldn't mind, can you show us the... Uh where the boards go inside the box and what they're actually replacing. The yeah. boards actually go in the box like this. And what I did is I made them, I made these holes here and, and the uh, vining posts actually have a little bit a nut here that holds them down a little bit sticking up and then I'm going to use the nuts of the vining post to hold the board in. Mm -hmm. And the nice part about this, I could just take <coughs> the board Put it, tape it down here, and that became my drill guide for the uh, binding posts. Mm -hmm. And that's how come they look halfway decent. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty much the matchbox with the antenna there on the yeah. side. Okay. Right. And so, you know, we just feed it with it. This is a little piece of this fiberglass tube. And they have all that at DX Engineering at decent prices. So... And can you show us the jig one more time? I'm sorry. <laughs> and the idea being you clamp it in place and it's... And then just drill it and you end up with a hole that goes right through the center. So just a perfect hole through any tubing. Pretty good. Yeah, and this, this is... Um, if you're going to go much smaller than a half, you probably have to put a little, you have to put a little spacer in here, but that works fine. If you're going much, I think it's good out to about two inches. And the antenna you've put together here, this is your vertical uh, dipole in effect? Yes, okay. the vertical dipole. And it's only a DB or so down from an ideal quarter wave vertical dipole with radials. At least that's what the antenna program says uh, for NEC2. Okay, we've taken. Anyone else got anything show and tell?